China's humanoid robots are training non-stop to take on basically any job. As Unitree's G1 AI robot enters the world of high fashion, other rising Chinese firms are disrupting the service sector and dominating global competitions. Also, what is the Tesla Optimus doing in Washington? At Shanghai Fashion Week, Unitree's AI-powered robots stole the show. A G1 humanoid robot made its runway debut during the NMTG Fashion Brands show. The short humanoid interacted with a model who adorned it with a 3D printed necklace shaped like a deer, a symbol of harmony and hope. It was accompanied by a Unitree quadrupedal robot that performed a mid-stage flip to reveal a custom outfit. Unitree's G1 humanoid and Go2 quadruped robots have become popular among researchers and developers thanks to their relatively low starting prices. The Hangzhou-based robotics leader has been frequently sharing the progress it's making training the G1 humanoid robot using reinforcement learning in NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. Standing 127 centimeters, the G1 robot has recently gone viral showcasing its running, dancing, and martial arts capabilities. Unitree's collaboration with the avant-garde label is the latest crossover between robotics and high fashion. During the 1999 London Fashion Week, Alexander McQueen incorporated robotics into a runway performance art piece. Model Shalom Harlow stood on a rotating platform as two industrial robotic arms spray-painted her white dress with black and yellow hues. The show, titled Number 13, is widely regarded as a seminal moment in fashion history. During Tokyo Fashion Week 2009, the HRP4C humanoid robot developed by Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology made its runway debut. Standing 158 centimeters, the Fembot had 30 motors for body movements, with eight dedicated to facial expressions. Coming to Japan and having a robot to open your show was just amazing. <laughs> and I would love to try something on her, of course. The robot was a major departure for the Institute's Humanoid Robot Project series. Earlier HRP models focused on functional tasks for industrial and research applications. With its silicon skin, facial expressions, and ability to sing, the robot was designed specifically for entertainment and fashion industry use cases. For Paris Fashion Week 2023, French fashion label Coperni teamed up with Boston Dynamics. The leading Massachusetts robotics firm Spot Quadruped Robots interacted with models and choreographed sequences. In one particularly viral moment, a Spot robot gently pulled the coat off Dutch model Rian van Rompuy, demonstrating its fine motor control and responsiveness. At Paris Fashion Week in January 2025, Issey Miyake's IMN line incorporated futuristic robotic elements for its runway debut. The spectacle, held at a former 16th-century monastery, featured two monumental robotic arms designed by Japanese artist Tokujin Yoshioka. The robots manipulated large black panels in a synchronized performance. As the machines moved with surgical precision, they revealed a stark black board symbolizing a new beginning. And at Milan Fashion Week 2025, the world-famous Mecha Humanoid Robot by Engineered Arts opened the show for Giuseppe Di Morabito. Founded in the UK more than 20 years ago, Engineered Arts recently restructured as a US entity to commercialize and scale production of its intelligent androids. Tesla's Optimus is also flirting with the high fashion world, recently appearing on the cover of Perfect Magazine alongside Kim Kardashian. The glossy cyber chic spread was published in a special 34-page edition of the biannual magazine that focuses on luxury fashion imagery. The Tesla bot also appeared on Capitol Hill this week at a robotics symposium highlighting advancements in U.S. robotics. Two of the humanoid robots were on display for lawmakers. According to reports, representatives from Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Aptronic, and others also met with Beltway officials to discuss policies that could bolster the American robotics industry. Magic Lab just shared this new footage of its service robots in action. The two-minute video shows a young couple interacting with MagicBot humanoid robots in a variety of settings. 
One of the AI-powered humanoids greets the couple in a parking garage, helping them find the car dealership they're looking for. They're greeted by another magic bot at the dealership. This robot uses its advanced artificial intelligence to close a sale. According to the robot's calculations, the man's attire means he's probably interested in an electric sport utility vehicle. Later, at a salon, another robot styles the woman's hair using AI to optimize dryer settings. The robot also offers recommendations for dinner. At the restaurant, a magic bot helps the couple make up their minds and brings them their food. The video comes full circle when a robot helps the couple find their car in the parking garage. The Suzhou-based startup raised $21 million in 2024 in an angel funding round after showcasing its humanoid robots training for factory work. Magic Lab says the robots are mastering industrial automation tasks like product inspections, material transport, precision assembly, barcode scanning, and inventory management. In Shanghai, Keenan Robotics just teased its new humanoid robot called the X-Man R1. The company released a short hype video showing a humanoid service robot with dexterous hands and a wheeled base. Hello, I'm Keenan X-Man. Founded in 2010, Keenan has shipped more than 100,000 robots globally, securing the top position in catering delivery robot exports. Their existing product lineup includes the Diner Bot for food delivery and the Butler Bot for hotel services. Beijing-based Booster Robotics just shared this footage of one of its T1 humanoid robots scoring a perfect goal at the RoboCup German Open 2025. The startup says the AI-powered robot played a crucial role in Tsinghua University's championship win. Standing 1.2 meters and weighing 30 kilos, the Booster T1 is intended for researchers and developers. Booster Robotics made the humanoid available for purchase in late 2024. The RoboCup games have been held since 1997 with the ultimate goal of developing autonomous humanoid robot soccer players that can compete against World Cup champions by 2050. Booster's robots have gained a reputation for their durability, as shown in this clip of a T1 getting knocked down during the event. The startup is especially harsh to its robots compared to its contemporaries. In this recent stress test footage, an engineer breaks a glass bottle over a robot's head, smashes concrete on its chest with a sledgehammer, and beats it with a stick so hard it breaks. Despite the torrent, the robot keeps going. The Booster T1 is carving out its lane among a growing array of short Chinese humanoid robots like the PM1 from Shenzhen-based engine AI, Unitree's G1, and recently unveiled creations by Noetix and Agibot. For more on the surging popularity of China's short humanoid robots, check the related video.